Why hello, and welcome to my sample series. Why showcase games for the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One X running at either 4K or HDR or both? This is my almost weekly series where I upload a half hour video or two on typically on Fridays. This week I'm doing Okami HD on the Xbox One X. Uh, I did this last time as well, but last time I showcased the beginning of the game. Today, I'm going to showcase just some exploration of the world taking place right before the end of it, when I've unlocked pretty much all the areas. Now be warned, I haven't played through this game in about two years. 2018, I think it was. Early 2018. So there's going to be a lot of stuff I'm going to be rediscovering today, but still, I'm going to hit start. Let's jump into it. And this is being captured in 4K at 30 frames a second. This is a native fixed 4K resolution. And yeah, this is a gorgeous looking game. I bet it looked pretty good back in the day, but it looks even better now at these higher resolutions. Is a save file that I had um, from a couple weeks ago just to showcase the start of the game. Now I'm going to open up this later one where I have a lot more stuff. Let's get started here. As you can see, we are in Tron World, pretty much. Um... Yeah, this is uh, the last save file. This is the last area, the last save point before the final boss. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go there. Instead, I'm going to get out of here if I can. I hope that there's a way out of here. Oh, yeah, I remember. This is uh, where I fought a bunch of the previous bosses. Sort of a boss rush mode. Think of it as like um, a Mega Man game, which is also made by Capcom. Same company that made this. Where you have to fight the last, all the bosses again, just before the last one. Ah, I have to double jump, but I can't seem to get out of here. I may not be able to do this. So, I hop in and, um, alright, this is not a great start to it. It's though the other one that may have access to the actual game world. But hey, at least I got to show off the um a little bit of the last area. Sorry about this. Off to a banging start already. There might have been a way out of there, I'm not sure, but it wasn't obvious if it was. Here we go. I believe this is some sort of arc on the bottom of this dried up lake with a rainbow bridge leading to it. That would be the last area. Alright. I'm just going to make one or two videos today just showing off the, the world. Maybe doing some light combat amidst the exploration. Still have the R1 to um... Pull up the paint, the celestial paintbrush. Is it celestial or celestial? I'm not sure. Celestial paintbrush. Celestial paintbrush. The paintbrush. The thing about this game that makes its combat unique and different from a Legend of Zelda game. Okay. Ah. I've been playing a lot of Sekiro with Shadows Die Twice lately, which I finally beat yesterday, and I'm going to showcase in a future, probably next week, 4K HDR upload sample. 
And I rather assume that these bears are going to be hostile enemies. But nope, they're friendly. I've already fed them. I can bark, as always. No wolves like to bark, right? Sheep. And tackle this thing. Yep. It's funny, I think I commented on this the last um, time I did a video of this a couple weeks ago, but the two games that took me the longest to play through in, in my streams are this game and Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, and they both take place in feudal Japan. <laughs> That's a little interesting observation, I suppose. Got some snowy areas here. And some enemies. How we go fight some of them? Showcase a little more combat. Got to break that guy's uh, guard. Very similar to Sekiro. Oh, only two enemies. Okay. That wasn't difficult at all. I mean, overall, this game is pretty easy. The only times in which it gets kind of difficult are during the boss fights. Very different from Sekiro, obviously. Now, some of these enemies I don't necessarily know how to fight, but I'll do the best I can. I kind of forgot, though. Draw a bomb here. Okay. Being a little too cautious here, causing me to waste time. I doubt these things are high enough level to really have much of a chance of harming me, let alone killing me. Yeah, still did good. I'd like to showcase more than just this snowy area. Look at that moon. I seem like I'm a little lost. I don't know where I'm going. That's because I kind of am. Like I said, it's been a while. But yeah, this is a gorgeous looking, fun to play game that's not especially difficult. If you have a PS4, an Xbox One, or a Switch, and especially if you have a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X and a nice 4K TV, I'd highly recommend picking this game up. I think it was about $20 new when I got it, and it's probably even cheaper now, used. And it is a long game. It will give you, you it, this game will give you its money's, your money's worth. All right, here we are. Got um, forest, Ag Agata forest. There's the village we were at at the start. Hannah Valley. 
is the great tree. My natural instinct is to hit B to run, which is what I had on Sekiro. As a messenger who's running, as always. For some reason I thought, um... For some reason I thought, uh, he ran faster in this game. Not sure. Yeah. I've gone ahead and revived all these trees. I think you get XP for doing that. You do that just by uh, pulling up the paintbrush and drawing a circle around them. Rejuvenation, I think it's called. Here's Susano. This waterfall here with a with a water wheel, just like in Sekiro. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm going to keep drawing comparisons to Sekiro while I do a little running around here, simply because it's the game that's been on my mind as of late. Having just completed it. Explore some more areas, I guess. Well, first let's uh, go back to that uh, tree, the great tree. I can't remember if there's a fast travel option in this game. It might be. Look at that. Here's Mr. Orange. <laughs> the wolf seems completely uninterested. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it looks like you're doing a pretty good job of that. Okay. I think it's turning into either daytime or nighttime. I'm not sure. But there is a day-night cycle in this game. It's turning into night. Yep, got owl, owls hooting.
Alright. I've got more of this game to show. Bunnies. As I've said in many times before, unfortunately I'm limited to about a half an hour of footage I can upload in one video. Otherwise, the video will never fully resolve to its 4K uh, resolution if I go much longer than that. I don't know why YouTube started doing that, but it did. And as a result, I can no longer do the two-hour videos that I did when I started these uploads. Now this area down here, this is definitely a dungeon area. At least it was. Now it's, uh, well, nothing. But yeah, this game is very obviously, I wouldn't necessarily call it a clone or a carbon copy, but very obviously an homage to Zelda. Liven up some flowers? How do I do that? Maybe I have a... Uh, rejuvenation. Bloom. Water Lily. Vine. Water Spot Crescent. Gale Storm. Inferno. A sense of the many abilities that you have. Guess I created a burst of wind there. You can look up in the night sky and see some of these constellations. At least one of them anyway. These constellations represent the abilities I've um, obtained. Alright. My favorite pointless thing to do in this game is to bark for no good reason. Because I don't need a good reason. Barking is its own reward. Even got the rooster crowing when it turns daytime, just like in Zelda. Alright, let's head this way. Towards the forest. Uh, we can only swim for a certain amounts. What we want to do is we want to put these lilies on. Can't remember if I ever got any um, thing to upgrade how long I could swim for. Easy enough. Very spooky looking forest. Yeah, a happy bear. See those things right there? You can use them to grapple from. Yep. Just gotta look for another one like that.
I don't know if there's fall damage or not. That doesn't seem like there is. Let's go in here. Meat. Fish. Use that. You can use this thing to spread fire. It's useful for both combat and for puzzle solving. Looks like there's not much going on in here, though. You can do the same for water. So I bet I could probably put this fire out with, with water, hey? Yep, look at that. I was right for once. <laughs> Got deer. Check out this sign. All right. Birds I haven't fed yet? Okay, that's strange. Pride myself on thinking I fed all the animals. Apparently, I missed one. I'm gonna take care of it now. Enjoy this nice scene of serenity. Yeah, that goes for a while. Look at that. I got more praise. Which is basically XP in this game. Alright. I think I remember riding this log down like a kayak down the raging river. The bridge had broken, and this is used to basically replace it. Little food stands. I remember this area. <laughs> Doggy. Alright. Yep, you do have a double jump, but you do not have a triple jump. City connection. Let's go to the city. Actually, you know what? Let's save the, the city for part two. Let's go over here first. Okay, 
Getting awfully dicey there. Person down there. Monkey. Come on. Yeah, it takes kind of a while to get around this rather large world. It's not an open world, it's more of an overworld type deal. Ah, the village with a lot of wind. I remember this. I remember having to use those uh, flag things up there as platforms to get to a particular spot. Unfortunately, you can't just pop into the game back into the world after beating the game So the only way you can play more of it near is to do near game end game stuff Which is to have a existing save file before the point of no return Which is where that um one area was Now before I go and end part one of this two-part video uh, I'm gonna do a little trick here. You don't like it? It's nighttime? Well, watch this. Yeah. It's like the um, song of, uh, what is it? The Sun in Ocarina of Time, except it's painting instead of playing music. So yeah, this is going to call, this is going to be end of part one of this uh, 4K sample video on Okami HD for the Xbox One X. Uh, I'm going to get this an uploaded, and then I'm going to start recording part two, where I will showcase more of the game world. And then, well, yeah, until then, take it easy.